our trip to Conway continued. This time, Safi and I set off from Penryn, uh, where we picked up our new boat to sail around and join the rest of the fleet uh, the next day. First of all, we headed off to the gangway by car to meet with the rest of the fleet and had a good drink, meal, and a very happy evening by all. Lovely sunsets, uh, lovely views. This was our plan. We would sail off from Penryn and meet the rest of the crew at Puffin Island. We got up early in the morning as planned and then made our way slowly on an incoming tide, hardly any wind, very, very miserable, very overcast and very wet. The rest of the crew fleet stayed in bed. We arrived at Puffin Island about 11.30 and then we saw the rest of them coming to join us at 12.25. Finally, the fleet was all here, all safe and sound, as the weather improved and we had a lovely afternoon moored off Puffin Island, where we had some dinner and a few drinks before we set sail for the rest of our journey. The day brightened up considerably and the wind started to freshen. We set off, this time heading for Red Wharf Bay. All fleets sailing well, beautiful afternoon, and things were looking good. Until the breeze began to freshen, and again we picked up from 12 knots into 18, 20, 24, and then up to 27 again. We, this time we were really struggling against uh, an incoming tide. And it was quite difficult. This is our track as we headed from sails. Puffin Island. It was now quarter past four and, and we were struggling to make any headway. Duncan decided to cut in shore and put his engine on and head directly for uh, Red Wharf Bay. We decided to sail out and go further out and Noel was struggling in Lily Fox to make any headway at all. When he tacked, he, he was unable to tack again, which meant some real problems. We went back to sit alongside while he managed to sort out the tacking and then make some headway with his engine. Unfortunately, part way through, his engine jammed. And you can see our tail back there coming back and then sailing off again. Uh, we got as far close to the uh, lifeboat station at Malfa. Uh, and this time it was getting dark. The wind was really picking up. It was raining. It was awful conditions. Uh, and finally his motor packed in. So Noel had no motor. Sails weren't behaving properly, uh, there were a few issues with the rigging, so we decided to go and give him a tow. Unfortunately, when we got there, uh, our engine started to overheat, no water coming out, uh, which was an impeller problem. Unable to do that in such conditions, we then suggested we sail him back to Red Wharf Bay. Unhappy with this because of lack of control, Noel decided he would sit out and try and sail back himself. We then got off, sailed into Red Wharf Bay late at night, about half past 11 now, tired on the turn, running out of water, managed to anchor just outside Red Wharf Bay. Uh, and when we heard Noel calling the lifeguard at Mofa, he had no lights, no engine, and uh, the sails weren't functioning properly. So that was a very exciting day. Obviously, there's no footage of any of this because we were too busy uh, trying to maintain uh, control over our boats at the time. Unfortunately, um, we, we weren't able to get any footage of this. Having said that, everything was all right. Noel was, uh, Noel was taken to Malfa, where he moored up for the rest of the night, fixed his engine, and he was able to get going the next day. And then... Uh, we woke up early on the incoming side 
and managed to join the other two, Wild Magic and Kingfisher, as we left, uh, arranged to go back to the gangway this time. So we're all headed back to gangway on a lovely sail now. Nice day. Hopefully will not get worse as previous days. This is our route back, uh, back to the gangway. Everything went well, so much so that Duncan decided to fly the kite. Uh, and he did an excellent job of getting the kite up and away he went. So, unfortunately, we didn't have one, uh, so we had to stick with the main sail. But it was a beautiful sail back. Everything went really, really well until we were heading down the Conway Channel and against an outgoing tide and the wind slightly on the nose. Uh, our engine stopped and we couldn't get in. So we decided to ferry glide and instead of going to the gangway, we headed for a safe mooring in Conway. We just managed to sail in uh, right next to the opening and that was our journey over while we sat back and fixed the engine. The rest headed off to the gangway where they would stay for a couple of days. I came home and then returned with Sara, the dog, and Maggie. And we had a, a few days on the boat where I managed to fix the impeller. Finally got it going. And it was the impeller water pump that was uh, faulty. Did a few jobs on the boat, put new lighting in, and then had her lifted out to have a full survey. After the survey, which was very, very, very uh, stressful. Uh, we managed to get the boat on the water, a nice nap, and a few drinks with Taffy at the Mulberry. This time it was open, and uh, we found our way back to the boat, and then waited for the next stage of our journey. Met up with the rest of the group in the gangway the following week, where we had a few drinks together, and planned our sail back home, return back home. These are, this footage is by Andy, uh, worth, well worth watching his site, uh, Sailing with Andy on the day it's called. And the, these pictures are by Andy, uh, where we all had a good time at the gangway, and then finally set sail uh, back to the DS3. Impeller fixed, we were able to motor out, and get some good sailing on the way home. Everything went really well. We had nose on the wind uh, uh, all the way and uh, fighting an outgoing tide, but this time it wasn't so bad. Uh, we managed to tack quite a few times to get some uh, forward motion, but you know, it took longer than we expected, but we all enjoyed it. As we were struggling sailing against the wind, Dave Rigby was had the wind behind him and he was sailing back to Penryn to lay a new moor in there. Uh, we, we had a good sail. Um, as I say, we tacked a lot and we struggled when we constantly, whichever way, whichever way we sailed, we had the nose right into the wind every, every time. I've never sailed like that before. It didn't matter which way we turned, the, no, uh, the wind was on the nose. But that's life. We finally got back to the moorings uh, just after half past nine, sun setting, and we had a lovely evening where we settled in. And that was our route back. You can see the, the various uh, different tacks that we took, but got there in the end. Overall, an excellent, excellent trip.